Hello guys, it is the end of the season, it is time for the final edition of the Gold Line. So, hello guys, I decided to stop the Gold Line um, due to not getting the views. However, I think today is a uh, have an end of season goal line. Um, so the season is over, um, barring you know um, Europa leagues and Champions League. I would like to say, however, before I start this video, um, I ages ago I used to do football videos here and there and i used to get quite high rate uh, views for it however um i honestly thought that doing the goal line would be the same you know i would get um the views however um that is why i decided to stop because i just wasn't out getting the views um the thing is that I've got another channel but there's no point in putting the goal line on that one because I've only got eight subscribers so no one's going to see the bloody thing. Um, so that is why I choose to do it on the channel that I've got the most subs for. Um, that is the reason why. Um, I'm going to go through the scores in a minute. Um, but I would like to. Um, I'm going. Th I'm going through all these stories, and there's not really an awful lot to go on. Uh, apparently, there's a TV gang that illegally illegally streamed uh, the Premier League matches. Well, you know, you're going to get piracy everywhere you go. Um, and there's an article. Well, how did the World Cup shape the Premier League season? You know, all stories that. You know, um, a referee is retiring at 52. Um, there's a, a, a I, think, I, think, I, think, I think his name is Debo, um, who plays for Coventry. Um, they were sickened um, because he missed a penalty in their playoffs with Luton. Um, so, you know, the, 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 these are all stories that, you know, you can read on the app or you can read, uh, you know, another time. Um, but, yeah, so these are, there's not really any big stories to go for, really. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to go through the results from, um, well, the, the one game on the Saturday, um, which was the championship, it was a playoff final to see who would go indeed back into the Premier League or go into the Premier League. Um, and it actually finished Coventry 1, Luton 1, but Luton won 6-5 on penalties. So um, that was basically the, the now on the coffin for um, Coventry. <laughs> But I'm going to go through the results from Sunday the 28th. Um, if you haven't already, um, if you if you've got no access to a phone or you haven't got access to a telly or whatever, I shall go through it with you now. So uh, Sunday we're going to start off in the Premier League. Um, it was Arsenal five, Wolves nil, Aston Villa two, Brighton one, Brentford one, Man City nil, uh, Chelsea one, Newcastle one. Crystal Palace 1, Nottingham Forest 1, Everton 1, Bournemouth 0, Leeds 1, Tottenham 4, Leicester 2, West Ham 1, Man United 2, Fulham 1, and Southampton 4, Liverpool 4. Now that is a shocker in itself. Um, and... There was a League 2 playoff. Uh, it was Carlisle 1, Stockport 1. Um, but Carlisle win 5-4 on penalty. So they'll be going into League 1 next season. Um, 
uh, and there was a, a League One playoff final um, last uh, last night. It was Barnsley nil, uh, Sheffield Wednesday won after extra time. So they will be uh, Sheffield Wednesday will be going back into the Championship. Um, I just want to go through some of these scores. Um, Southampton Liverpool four four. That should not be happening. Liverpool um, South already relegated Southampton should not be scoring four. You should not be drawing four four with them. Um, they have just clearly not been good enough this season. And I know there's probably going to be Southampton fans that may be. I think I'm being a bit harsh, or there might be other football fans that think I'm being harsh. But so purely simply, Southampton just has not been good enough. Um, pure and simple. Um, but I mean, they were gonna. They it's like they came out in a blaze of glory and said, "We are doing this. We are." Gonna go if we're gonna go down, which we are, we're gonna give it a you know a fighting shot against Liverpool. So, four four is quite interesting. Um, another score I want to talk about: Leicester two, West Ham one. West Ham are safe. Leicester, even though Leicester won two one, they have been relegated as well. Um, a, along with Leeds as well. Uh, Leeds, Leicester, and Southampton, um, all had the drop um i mean f for leicester oh, i can't understand leicester they have they you know these were premier league champions you know a few seasons ago now but you know they won the premier league and their defense has been terrible um along with leeds you know um again what i would like to say uh, with Leeds is um, Sam Allardyce if you remember a uh, couple of seasons ago uh, when West Brom were in the Premier League um, they brought Big Sam in to try and save them he was not successful uh, that was the first time he'd actually got a team relegated um, he did actually say if there was some plan in place to get them automatically back up to the Premier League he would stay however there was no plan in place so he left um, but he was brought in too late and he was brought in too late with Leeds as well um, they should have um, they should have brought Big Sam in halfway through the season um, you know Leeds must have known by that time that they were really struggling um so yeah um sam was brought in far too late um and yeah dean smith that is another you know he's um he was in charge of leicester i'm not sure if he's going to stay on or not um but he uh yeah, he could not save them. Um, so, in place of that, Everton won Bournemouth nil. Everton, you were so, so lucky. You had a lucky escape. Um, and I hope Sean Dyche is uh, proud of these guys because they... That narrow 1-0 victory got them out of Stuck. Um, so, yeah. It was a little bit, you know, it was it was up, down, up, down, up, down with Everton and uh, Leeds. Um, so, yeah, uh, Nottingham Forest was really in trouble as well. Um, they was in the they were in the relegation zone at one point. Um, so, yeah, um, that's all I've really got to talk about. Um, Let's have a look. We've got no football today. Uh, well, we've got FIFA under 20, but, um, you know. Um, I don't think... We've got Scottish playoffs. Uh, that are, uh, 
starting. Um, we've got the FA Cup on the 3rd of June. Um, Man City versus Man United. Um, and there's the Scottish Cup as well, which is uh, Celtic versus Inverness, Sea Thistle. Uh, more Scottish playoffs. I think that is it. We've, well, we've got the Europa Conference League. Um, Florentina against West Ham. That should be quite interesting to see. Uh, you got Champions League on the 10th of June. Uh, Man City versus Inter Milan. That's the final. Um, and, you know, they're international friendlies. That's all I've got on my screen at the moment. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's um, the way things look at the moment. So let's go to the, the table for a final look. Um, Man City finished on 89 points. Um so it was Man City, 89, Arsenal, 84, Man United, 75, Newcastle, 71, Liverpool, 67, Brighton, 62, Aston Villa, 61, Tottenham, 60, Brentford, 59, Fulham, 52, Crystal Palace, 45, Chelsea, 44, Wolves, 41, West Ham, 40, um, Bournemouth 39 points, Nottingham Forest 38 points, Everton 36 and of course relegated Leicester 34, Leeds 31 and Southampton 25. That is the way the table finally finished at the beginning of the Premier League. So um, with that in mind, um, let's just see who is definitely going up to the Premier League next season. Uh, that's going to be Burnley, Sheffield United and Luton will be replacing um, Southampton, Leeds and um, Leicester. Um, in the relegation zone, um, it is Reading, Blackpool and Wigan. We will see them in League one next season so let's just have a look at uh league one we can see who's going to be here plymouth and ipswich will be in the championship um along with sheffield wednesday um and who we will see in League 2 next season is MK Dons, Morecambe, Accrington Stanley and poor old Forest Green um, who only had the one season in League 1 um, too hot to handle um, the winners of uh, League 2 Leighton Orient, Stevenage and Northampton will all be back in League 1 um where Hartley, Paul and Rochdale are going to begin life in the National League. Um, whether you love them or not, Wrexham have been absolutely unbelievable this season. Um, and they did indeed win the uh, league. Um, however, um, Torquay... Yeovil, Scunthorpe and Maidstone United will begin life in their, uh, in their respected National League North and Souths. Um, so, yeah, that is the way everything's shaping up at the moment. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, the season. Um, whatever league you follow, whatever team um, your... whatever league your team is in, um, and I hope you enjoy this goal line. Um, I would like to say, um, if you do like it, if you do, do like these goal lines, please give a thumbs up. Please comment down below. And um, if I do get enough views and I get enough people commenting about it, um, I will do some next season. Anyway, um, yeah, thank you guys. And um, don't forget, to um, click the bell icon and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next season uh, look out for more ASMR videos and I'll see you soon guys thank you